We've done quite a few videos about electric parking brakes, how to release them and, and uh, functioning of them, but we've gotten a lot of response on all the videos. And in fact, we've got quite a few uh, suggestions about taking one apart to show what's going on inside that caliper. So I took a, an 07 Passat caliper here and, uh, and we took it apart. We cut up the motor and everything. I want to show you all the parts are inside here. Now let's start with the caliper body itself. As you can see, it's not much different. It looks like a regular caliper from this view until you see the back side and there's a big old hole in the back. I'll explain that here in a second. Then you've got your regular pistons like you do in a caliper. We have our seal. We have a square cut seal inside the caliper. We've talked about that in the past. That's what actually retracts the piston back in after you apply the brake. That's what pulls it back in, so the square cut seals in there. But I do want to show you something about that hole in the back. Now, here's this piece right here. This is this will be geared. Well, I'll show you all the gear set here in a second. But this piece here goes through and out the back, as you can see. Okay. In fact, then there's a a, a, a C clip here that holds it all together. But this he pushes through, and the C clip goes on there, and then this is geared. Uh, it actually is geared right into the gear right here. That's what actually turns it. But I want to show you something here. This is a is a place of maybe a little bit of a problem sometimes of leakage, uh, brake fluid because this is full of brake fluid. The caliber is full of brake fluid. The only seal you have in most cases to prevent the brake fluid from getting into the motor, the gear section right here, is this O-ring right here. Okay, I'll take it off to show you. That O-ring is all you have holding back that fluid from inside the caliper leaking past you. Now there's a bushing in there also that plays a big part. It's a pretty tight feel. If you saw when I put it in there, it's hard to get it straight in. It takes a little bit of effort to push it in. So between the bushing and that O-ring, that's all you have. So when these start leaking, nine times out of ten, it's this O-ring that's the problem and it starts leaking in the gear set. Now, you know, it's not really a problem if one or two drops get past it, uh, but when they start leaking and it starts leaking out of the plastic housing where you see leaking that's a problem so so this is what you've got right there one more thing as long as I got this piece in my hand right here as you can see boy it's got a very small bearing set here okay so this this Torrington bearing they call it Torrington bearing this right here I did not clean this up this comes there's a little bit of lubrication on there not much but don't forget these things are not spinning all the time they apply they release you don't have to worry about putting a lot of grease on there in fact you don't want to put a lot of grease on there it'll fling off and it'll get on your little drive belt there's actually a little tiny rubber drive belt that actually turns this so so putting a lot of extra grease in there is not recommended so here's the o-ring that goes on like I said this all goes inside now this is also the part we talked about earlier you know the piston applies out when you hit the brake pedal but when you want to apply it with the electric parking brake it'll spin it'll spin this and you can see what it'll do when it's spinning it it'll push this plunger out this is sitting right inside the piston right here and when it pushes it out the piston then applies the brakes that's your parking brake mechanism so you're saying well how do we turn that that mechanism there well I'll show you that right now that's done with a motor the motor sits right in the back here and that's what, what what drives everything but this motor right here inside the motor I had to cut this plastic off here's the actual electric motor itself right here so you can see a little drive belt here there's a little little drive belt that turns this larger inside here, this sits right inside. So this drive belt right here turns this large gear and inside this large gear is a little planetary gear set. Now, if you do transmissions at all, you know what I'm talking about with planetary gear set. A planetary gear set, it's got a little sun gear in the middle and you got planets that go around it. They call it a planetary gear set. When, when you turn it one way, it, it not only is a gear reduction, but it also then turns that drive the same way. But if you stop, or if you stop that, this automatically reverses itself. And that's exactly the way they can run that motor forward and backwards inside there without really changing polarity of the motor. They just, when it runs all the way and it stops turning, 
it'll actually then turn the other way. That's what the planetary gear set does inside. But you can see there's a lot of moving parts. I'll take this part even more. There's a lot of moving parts inside this caliper. Remember, this is this is not an exotic, this is a Volkswagen Passat. So it's, it's, this is a basic car right here. And then you've got all the gear set here. I, I took it all apart so you could see it. And then, like I said, you've got the electric motor here. None of these parts should ever be really replaced. You're gonna put a whole caliper on if you need to, or you can buy the electric motor pack by itself. It's, like I said, I cut this one apart. Let me show you. This is what it looks like all together here. I had to cut it apart. I basically destroyed this. It's a sealed unit. You should never really have to do any maintenance to it. Uh, like I said, I did not take any grease off of this whatsoever. This is a pretty dry unit inside with the gears. Again, they don't have to run very long. So, so guys, this is what you're doing when you're before you do the brake job, when you have to retract that piston, you're running this motor, you're, you're turning all these gear sets in it to pull that back, then you still push the piston back in, and that's how you start the brake job.